Welcome back to the channel. My name is Abon. Welcome back to Football Manager 2021 and Eastern Resurgence 2 with Stauart Bucharest. Today, the semi-finals of the Europa Conference League. Hoffenheim are the opponents over two legs. Last time, we knocked out Eintracht Frankfurt. We've got another German side. And we are just 180 minutes away from maybe making our first European final and the club's first since 1989. It's been an amazing run. The amount of games we've played this season is just ridiculous. We've got both legs today against Hoffenheim. We've got a game in between as well against Academica. And the nerves are there. The, the football that I've been watching recently has been nerve-wracking. England against Denmark. Oh, I don't think I've ever been so nervous for a football match. And England are now in a final uh, on Sunday, which is the day this is going out. And this season with Stour has just been unbelievable. We're still in the conversation for three trophies this season. And we already have a trophy this season. We won the Super Cup. So we are in the conversation for a quadruple this season. As always, if you're enjoying the video, drop a like down below and leave comments because they're the best ways to support the channel. It helps the algorithm. If you haven't done so already or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. We're over a thousand subs now. Let's try and keep that sub train going. Last episode was the quarterfinals against Eintracht Frankfurt. A goalless draw in Germany was a good result. It wasn't a pretty match, but we did the job. We'll ignore the loss against Hermann Stapp. That, that, forget about that. Second leg, we won 3-1 at home against Frankfurt. Uh, got a 90-second minute goal after they got a goal back. And yeah, a really good performance uh, to send us through to the semi-finals. Hoffenheim today. Let's see what happens. We did play three games off cam where we had our first two games in the championship group of the league. And we had the first leg of our cup semi-final as well. So let's have a look at the goals. De Neuer to Manole. Here's Sonogo and Nidunoya forward for Nitsa, who's going to try to put a ball in there, and it's a great block by Manalake. Nidalea to Martina. It's Nezovic. It's Ismail. It's Lukovic, and the strike into the bottom corner. 1 0, and Lukovic, the left back, gets the goal. Erez rolls it to Manalake. And the ball out to Nezovic on the left hand side. And the switch for Sipovac here. And he could go for Garland himself, but instead sets up Boyang Yu and it's 1-0 after half an hour. A lead away from home in this first leg for Stauer. Well, Stauer have the 1-0 lead in this semi-final first leg. And here's Sipovac early in the second half here for Stauer. And it's Martina. And he sent through Ismail. And it's a, a quick fire second in the second half here. We're only played 20 seconds, but it's 2-0. Aura to Lukovic. Gabriel Toma. Back to Aura. And Ismail through. Good save by the goalkeeper. Zubele. Ball up for Aura. Great header by Anise Aura. And here's Martina. And Lukic. Might be through on goal here. And he squeezes it in from the angle. And 63 minutes. Stauer lead in this Bucharest derby. 1-0. Oh, bad ball by Lukic. And it's Hegelus and FCSB with a chance maybe to equalise here with 10 minutes to go. And it's Dragush. What a save by Goran Erez. What a save. So three wins from three. Um, some close games in there. 1-0 uh, against Vitorol. 1-0 against FCSB. We've finally beaten them after quite a while of trying to. And we had a bit of a hoodoo against them. Didn't beat them in seven matches. Finally have another win over them. First one in about two years. And that means that we are level on points with them in this championship group with a game in hand. Uh, they've dropped a few points, FCSB. They did towards the end of the first part of the season. We've now beaten them and we're now level on points. And we're seven clear of Vitarol uh, with that game in hand, which is against Cluj at some point. Uh, because we have the Europa Conference League, because we have the Romanian Cup, uh, we're going to be a bit behind in terms of games played. We've played an awful lot of games this season. So if we get to two finals, it will be 70 games this season absolutely unbelievable anyway first leg against Hoffenheim we're at home a win here would be perfect you know we win this first leg it's a good position to be in unfortunately in that Vitorol game Nagoyescu dislocated his shoulder so he's going to miss the rest of this season it's going to be out for a month maybe two also for this game Bacista is suspended so Manalake and Chimpianu are going to play at centre back today this is the team we're going to go with Lukic is staying up top Ismail is going to play out wide so we haven't really looked at the Hoffenheim side so let's see who they have. So you might recognise some players here, but we've got Robert Skov. We've got Andre Pitania. We've got Federico DeMarco. I think that I had that guy at Parma. 
He's a very good Italian left back, although he seems to be playing a bit further forward here. They also have a 35-year-old Marcelo Brozovic and a 36-year-old Danny Carvajal. <laughs> what? And here we go. First leg is underway against Hoffenheim here. And I think a first leg win at home is going to be important because I don't know that we're going to be able to get anything away from home. Uh, the first highlight is a free kick for Hoffenheim. And here is Patania. And it's a block by Manalaki. It wasn't a great pass. But here comes uh, Philip Lukic. And 11 minutes on the clock. We are on the way forward here. And it's a switch to Ismail. Doesn't quite get the ball control right. But he's managed to keep it in. And it's Martina. And it's Ura. And it is 1-0 in the 12th minute. And it's Ura with his 11th of the season. And uh, yeah, we, we fluffed it a bit. But managed to keep it in play. Ismail here just... I mean, I would have volleyed that on the right foot. I would have just volleyed it. He's kept it in. It's fallen to Martina. And Aura has just uh, slotted it in for him like four yards out. It's 1-0. Let's hold on to this lead. I'll be happy. If we if we just win the first leg, I'll be very pleased. I think away from home, we can just shut the game down and just and just play for a draw. I think we're, we're good enough to be able to do that. We did it against Frankfurt. We had a goalless draw in Germany. And in this first leg, you know, we're winning. I'm happy. It's half time. The only highlight has been our goal. There's been nothing else to show. It's not going to be pretty, but if it gets the job done, I'm I'm fine. I'm fine with that. Chimpianu. He's in today for the uh, suspended Andre Brasis day. He's Lukovic to Aura, who got the uh, the goal in the first half, and he's coming forward here. Goes back to Martina, and it's Lukic. It's two nil, and it's 41 goals now this season for Philip Lukic. And on 58 and a half minutes, we lead the first leg two nil. And as long if we keep a clean sheet, I think we've got no problem holding on to this in that second leg. We're two nil up. We haven't seen anything from Hoffenheim, and Lukic fires past the keeper. Two nil. It's Demarco. I think he's a. I think Demarco's a player that was very much sought after on like FM sixteen, FM seventeen, back when he was like in his early twenties at the start. It's Patania. I think that might hit the woodwork, but Patania is being a bit of a nuisance in the air, and Hoffenheim are going for an away goal here. They're starting to have a bit more in this game. If we can hold on and keep a clean sheet, that would be a great first leg performance. Here's Martina to Nedelea. A third goal as well would be nice. We might get it here. It's Philip Lukic. Oh, and it's hit the post. Oh, so close to being 3-0 there. Toma is going to come on for Morong, who's not been too involved today. Aura. Chance for 3-0 maybe here. It's Anissa Aura. It's up for Nedelea. Herrera, though, with the interception. And now Hoffenheim in the white on the break. DeMarco. Patania is through here. And it's 2-1. And it's an away goal for Hoffenheim. Andrea Patania. He's been, he's been trouble in this game. He's got his goal. And Hoffenheim have what could be a crucial away goal here. We were just set a little bit too high. DeMarco with the ball through to Andrea Patania. It's a good finish. It's 2-1. Toma to Nedelea. We need a third goal. We might get one here. It's a good save by Arnel. Another corner kick. 10 minutes left of this first leg. 2-1 is very, very close. Manalake. Oh no, it's 3-1. And Manalake with his fifth of the season has given us a 3-1 lead in the first leg. And that away goal might have been expunged. It's still very, very tight. But 3-1 is a good place to be in. Manalake with the goal after it bounced around for a bit. 10 minutes to go, 3-1. This has been a great first leg performance by us. We need to keep it up in the second leg. The away goal almost counts for like two goals. And really, we need to avoid a fit in the second leg. If we do, we'll be through to a final. Is that going to be a penalty? It might be. I've got to see what the referee's going to say here. He's going over to the screen. I've only made one change in this match as well. I need to make some other subs. What is the decision? It is a penalty. And we can make this 4-1 in the last minute of stoppage time. And it's Taufik Ismail with a penalty here to maybe make it 4-1 in this first leg. What's he going to do? It's a good penalty. It's in the top left corner. And the first leg is at 4-1. So Hoffenheim really... Are going to need to win. It's going to have to be a win by three. Wait a minute. Mauro Jr. has just scored in the 95th minute. I guess there's a lot of stoppages because of the penalty decision. But it's 4-2. We never really got rid of this. I wasn't really paying attention, honestly. It's Schuler to Herrera. Let's see this again. It was over the top. Jr. was onside. And I don't think even Eres saw it coming. It's at the near post. And it's 
And now it is full time. The first leg ends Stour 4, Hoffenheim 2. Which would mean that Hoffenheim would have to win by two goals without reply. Or with one away goal. They need to win by three, really. 4-1 was so much better. That was such a good safety net. Now, Hoffenheim have got to win by two and concede no more than one goal. It's a really good first leg. I'm really, really pleased with that. But we are in for a, a, a huge second leg. Sampdoria and Lille ending goalless in their first leg. I think with that second leg in Germany, I think we just need to do what we did with the Eintracht Frankfurt game and just shut the game down. I don't care if we don't have any shots. Like, we just need to make sure that we defend it and, and, and shot them out. I think that's what we need to do. And we do have a game before that against Academica Klincheni. So if there's any goals from that, I will show them to you. FC SB have just lost again. They lost to Vitarol. So if we now win against Klincheni, we will go three points clear with a game in hand. It is 1-0 Stauer in this game against Academica Klincheni. Lukic with a header to Kosmindin then sends it back to the centre forward for his 42nd goal in all competitions this season, Philip Lukic. 42 goals and we're 1-0 up here against Klinchenny. Well, it is 2-0 with 80 minutes on the clock. Lukic sets up Ismail for his ninth goal of the season. We've been under the cosh for a lot of this game, but we've managed to get our second goal. Academica have been knocking on that door, though. And Lukic has made it three in the third minute of stoppage time. How about this for a goal? Martina with the ball to Nezovic. You think he's going to score, but he lays it off for Lukic. Easy finish for him. 93rd minute, 3-0. Akademika haven't taken their chances, and we have. Well, it's ended 3-0. Like I just said, Akademika just didn't take their chances there. And we did. Lukic with two goals. Ismail with a goal as well. Another 90 minutes against Hoffenheim. It's a 4-2 lead for Stauer. So... If we avoid defeat, we're through to the final. If we're going to lose, Hoffenheim need to win by two goals and concede no more than one to make the final themselves. Only change I've made is Nedele has come in for Boangu. We're going to leave Cosmin Din in. He did well in the last game, got himself an assist. We'll see if he can have another good game here. I think we start on balanced just to see how things go from the start. This is going to be a nerve-wracking 90 minutes. It absolutely is. Um, I don't think the team has changed at all. Actually, I think it has. There's no uh, DeMarco in the side. Oh, he's out. He's injured. And he was a nuisance for them. Patania is the player we've got to watch up top. But DeMarco was making those runs from left wing. And he's out of the game. That's big. Oh, I'm so nervous. <laughs> I'm so nervous. Mauro Gini also scored in that first leg. He got the second goal. That was well into stoppage time. This match, we're 90 minutes away from a Europa Conference League final, from a European final. Stowers first one since 1989. I need to remember we're technically still two goals up. So we should be praising them as often as we can. If we encourage, they're not going to like it. Need to remember that. Uh, we're actually having lots of possessions. So I'm going to bump it up to positive because we're having 60% possession. Nothing's really happening from it, but we're having lots of the ball. And are we going to have our first half without a highlight? No, not quite. But 43 minutes, we have our first highlight of the game. And I'm fine with a, with a boring game. As long as it means we don't lose, that's fine. Here's Martina. And this might be a chance for an away goal here. With two minutes to go in the first half. It's Nedalea. It's Ismail. And Ismail has scored. It's his 10th of the season. It's 1-0 in Hoffenheim. And it's 5-2 on aggregate. Which means that Hoffenheim now have to score three. 3-1 would still send them through on away goals because we have one and they have two. But they now have to score three goals. And the first half, it has been dire. The only highlight we've seen is this goal. Hoffenheim have had some shots, but they haven't been, they haven't created themselves a chance. They've had a clear-cut chance. We didn't even see it. I don't know where it came from or wh when it was. But we're, we're three goals in the lead. We, we have a three-goal lead. Just, oh, Just don't do anything silly. Come on. We are less than 45 minutes away from a European final. Not the European final, but a European final. I'm fine with a dull match. I'm fine with a dull match. I know it's not good viewing, but this is huge. 20 minutes to go. Right, changes. The front three have been just bored out of their skulls, I think. They've had nothing to do. Nezovic is going to come on for Aura. Uh, Morong is going to come on for Din. I forgot to put Gabriel Tome onto the bench. It's fine, though. 78 minutes on the clock and it's the first highlight of the second half and only the second of the match. And it's Manalake with the ball. Herrera with over their header. It's a tanga now. Have they taken off Pitania? I think they might have done, you know. Good block by Bacciste. Lukovic sends it forward. 
And Shula's going to get there first. If we can just hold on now, we're, we're there. They need three goals in 12 minutes. They need three goals in 12 minutes. And we have the possession here. We did anyway. Robert Skov gets the ball back uh, after a poor pass by the number 27. Here's Eidehan to Skov. And Hoffenheim looking for a way through now. It's Schved to Atanga. Herrera. A oh, bad pass. Very bad pass. Now it's Philip Lukic. He's got a lot of work to do here. He goes to Ismihil. Here's Nedelea to Morong. And it's Lukic. And it's a goal. It's 2-0. Guys, we've got a European final. We're going to a European Conference League final. It's 6-2 on aggregate with 10 minutes to go. And Hoffenheim now need four. And even that wouldn't be enough to send them through. They would have to... They need They need five. They need five. We've, we've done it. We're, we're through to a final. It's a corner for Hoffenheim. I really don't care. Fine, have a goal. I don't give a toss. Schuler scored. 10 minutes to go. If they can get another five, four goals, then I will eat my shoe. Ten minutes to go. Shuler with a header from the set piece. 2-1 on the night. 6-3 on aggregate. It's fine. It's fine. Martinez is going to come off. Boyangu is going to come on. Final change made. Five minutes to go in this second leg. Two minutes left. We have a corner. It's Ismihil. And it's Nezovic. And it's 3-1. It's 3-1. It's 7-3 on aggregate. <laughs> I can't believe this team is through to a European final. A Europa Conference League final. Nezovic gets his goal. And the time now running down. There it is. On the night, it ends Hoffenheim 1, Stauer Bucharest 3. And in aggregate, it is 7-3. And we're through to the Europa Conference League final. What on earth. I was so worried about Hoffenheim as much as I was about Eintracht Frankfurt and we've beaten them both. And Lille are going to be our opponents in that final. A 2-0 win after extra time when Thorsby got sent off for Sampdoria and Selka scores two extra time goals to send Lille through to the final. So it's going to be Stauer Bucharest versus Lille in the Europa Conference League final. So that final now takes the place of Klincheni. So we still have three games in five days. FCSB on the Saturday, Cluj on the Monday, and then the Europa Conference League final on the Wednesday. We're 90 minutes away from a Romanian Cup final where we lead 2-0. We have a Super Cup this season, and we're in the Europa Conference League final. We, we could get a quadruple. That's ridiculous. But that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below and leave comments. They're the best ways to support the channel. And if you haven't done so already, or if you're new, then do subscribe and turn on notifications. I think what we'll do next time is we'll jump ahead to, I think, FCSB and see how things look. Um, you know, we want to get that title win on camera. We'll have hopefully two finals and see how many trophies we can end this season with. I don't really know what else there is to say. This team is through to a European final. That's just, that's incredible. That's absolutely incredible. Uh, but anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. Goodbye.